What's up everybody? Once again, my name is Matt and today we're going to be taking a look at Astroneer. This is a pre-alpha sort of early access game on Steam and I was looking for like interesting games to play and one of you guys actually suggested this to me so we're going to check it out. It just so happens that I got a code for this game in my email a couple of days ago. So uh, yeah, I played this a little bit last night. I reset my save data. Uh, I did get addicted to this game though. I played it for like three hours last night in like one sitting which is unusual for me so uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. Hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. Uh, we have four like I guess astronauts to choose from. I want to pick the orange guy because he's my favorite so let's blast off and uh, head to the first planet. So every time you reset your save data the planets are different so this is gonna be a whole new experience for me. This game could be like you know, comparable to, uh, I guess, like, Minecraft or, uh, like, Ark. Any, like, survival game where you need to go out and collect resources and then, like, sort of build a base. I would say maybe it's similar to, you know, No Man's Sky, but I think, uh, that's giving, like, No Man's Sky too much credit. Uh, thankfully, we got a pretty alright spawn. Not terrible. Uh, there's some basic compound over here that we can collect. Uh, so, let me go over the basics real quick. Uh, we have this terrain tool. We can use this to sort of shape the actual terrain, which is pretty neat. Um, right now, that's really all we have access to. Um, on our pack, this yellow meter is our energy. This blue meter is our oxygen, so we need to watch that constantly. And um, this sort of like thing tying us to our pod, that is a tether that's supplying our pack with oxygen currently. If we leave far enough, yeah, now we're running off the oxygen on our pack only. So we're going to grab some of this basic compound. Uh, this stuff is super helpful for making tethers and other objects that are pretty much needed to survive in this game. So we already got two full things of compound. Um, with that, we can actually create solar panels. And you're going to want to make these as quickly as you can, since these will charge up your pack a whole lot faster. So I'm going to make two of those, one for each side. And uh, on top of that, we can also make tethers. And these will allow us to sort of... Uh, lengthen the distance between us and our pod while we're still having oxygen supplied to us so pretty cool pretty cool I know like starting out this game is pretty slow but then again I mean so is Minecraft or really any other uh, survival game like this but it does get a lot more fun once you start like sort of building things and and getting your base going and I'm glad we already got the solar panels because now we can spend a lot less time worrying about our pack uh, battery and more time actually gathering resources so, all right, not bad. We got some got some compound, which is pretty nice. Um, I would recommend doing something like this, where you sort of create a little pit, and um, you know, toss some extra stuff down there that you don't need, just because there are weather effects in this game, like windstorms, and those will just like, you know, make it so if you have your uh, material just lying on flat ground, it'll just blow away. So you really got to be careful about that. Um, I am looking for resin though. There's a lot of compound around here, which is good, but in order to start like really expanding our base, we need something called resin, and sadly there is not a whole lot of it around, or at least not that I can see. Oh, hang on, there's some resin over there. I just oh, there's a lot of resin over there. How did I miss that? Am I blind? I think I'm blind, guys. Alright, so that's cool. Because now, with this resin, oh no, it's becoming nighttime, that stinks. At nighttime, uh, obviously because there's less sun. Our pack isn't going to charge as quickly, so I'm going to try and grab as much of this as I can while we still got some sunlight. Uh, so I can just keep going and maybe expand the base a little bit. Wow, there's a lot of resin here. That is great. Oh my gosh, it just keeps coming. Look at that. Oh, so much resin. Oh, there's even more. Ooh. Oh, yo. We found a cave system too. All right. Um, Problem is, that might be hard to get to. Because that's a pretty steep drop, and I don't want to just fall down there, so I might want to be a little bit careful with that. But we did get a lot of resin, so that is really good for us. Uh, now that we got that, though, we can start expanding our base. So, uh, let's put some resin here. Expand that first section, and let's go all the way to the third section. Why the heck not? Alright, so this allows us to build a couple of different things. We got a printer. I think that lets you sort of create materials that you might need. Uh, research. If you find, like, artifacts around the planet or underground, you can research them here. And then you can get, like, blueprints and stuff like that for um, other things. Uh, you have a smelter. This will take your raw materials and turn them into something you can actually use. So that's really helpful. And then a vehicle bay. I think you can actually build, like, rovers and stuff like that. I've never built a vehicle bay, though, so I'm not sure what it does. 
But as you can see, yeah, this like requires aluminum. This you need copper. Uh, we need basic compound for uh, the smelter and the research. So those are probably like, the first things that we can build since basic compound is very, very easy to come by. In fact, there's a ton of it right over here. So might as well grab some of this. Then we can probably build the um, probably the smelter is the first thing we're gonna want to get. Just because if we do find some stuff underground, uh, we can immediately like process it and then use it. Uh, we do need to build a generator at some point, which I think we need copper for. So hopefully we'll get lucky and uh, we can find some copper like already pre-done for us. Because um, there's like these little... What is that over there? I don't know if that's like something in the background or if that's like part of the sky. Uh, anyways, as I was saying, there's like... I don't think there's any around here. But um, there are these weird snowball looking things that you can find. And like they form the shape of a pyramid. And uh, inside them... You can actually find like material already processed for you, so you're gonna want to keep an eye out for that. Ooh, there's something cool looking over there. Uh, I don't know how far away that is, but we can probably go and check it out. Plus, there's resin along the way that we could pick up if we need it, and uh, might as well just explore the world, see if we can find anything cool. Maybe find some copper. Yeah, that'd be kind of nice. I think I'm out of a uh, out of tethers, aren't I? Yes, I am. So let's make some more. Might as well make both of them. You always want to have as many tethers as you possibly can, just so you can keep going. Uh, you're going to constantly be placing tethers in this game. I think you can, like, build extra oxygen tanks. I've never gotten to that point, though. It's because resources are kind of hard to come by uh, when you're just starting out. So, let's see. This actually might be leading into a cave system over here. So, I might want to check this out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, oh, that is a steep drop. Hmm. All these cave systems are so cool, but I can't get down there, man. Not easily. Okay, you know what? I can actually probably do something like this. I'm seeing a, I'm seeing a solution, because over here it seems to be like an area that I can probably get to. So if I terraform down from like up here, I can probably get down there safely. Uh, whoa. Uh-oh. Did I lose power? Oh, what happened? Oh, I, I just realized I'm like dying. There we go. <laughs> I must have missed a, uh, a placement there. I didn't even notice that. Gee, that could have been really bad. I could have, like, just died completely. Oh, my gosh. That would have been so bad. Okay. Uh, I think I can probably start terraforming from up here. And, uh, hopefully make my way in there. I'm gonna run out of energy really quick, though. That's the problem. Yeah. Kind of knew that was coming. Unfortunately, the tether is... Oh, ooh, ooh. Hang on. This is perfect. So, this yellow stuff right over here, right? This is energy. So, I can grab this. And, uh, now I have some extra power. Not a whole lot, but enough, you know? Enough to, like, at least get started. Maybe it'll last me till daytime. That'd be great. Maybe not. We'll find out. Oh, come on. Can I get down there, please? I just want to get down there. I just want to make a nice, safe way for me to get in. <laughs> I just want to want to hang out and check out this area. I'm really bad at terraforming, by the way, guys. I should probably mention that. Because it, it's, it's kind of hard to, like see how much you're actually like destroying the land it's not exactly easy but I think we are making progress oh please don't okay <gasps> Ooh, almost fell off the ledge there <laughs> that would have been really bad oh that would have been really bad but on the bright side guys we almost actually made it down hey we did make it down hey that's what I'm talking about now we're in a cave system now we can start looking for some cool stuff this blue stuff, by the way, is oxygen, so uh, if you run out of tethers, you can use that to sort of keep your pack uh, filled up and you oxygenated. I do want to head over here, though, because it seems like the only way I can go right now. Plus, there's some energy on the wall that I would love to pick up since we're down here and there's no sunlight. Energy is going to be helpful. So give me all of that. Thank you very much. And if we could find something cool, it'd be great. This thing looks like it goes on forever. What I like about the tethers too is um, it always it always leads back to your base, so it's pretty nice. Although there's like nothing down here, which is the opposite of nice. No, 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 no. Hang on, come back here. There you go. There you go, buddy. I'm out of tethers. Crud. <laughs> oh no. Um, is there anything nearby that I can farm? There's whatever that is up there. I'm too far away though, aren't I? Yeah, I'm too far away from that. Even if I jump- oh, wait, well, hang on, maybe. If I jump, I might be able to just, like, cheese it and get some extra material. 
don't know what it is though. It actually looks like common compound. That would be exactly what I need to make more tethers. So if I could find more of that. Do you want to be nice and give it to me, game? Oh, it's right there. It's taunting me. Oh, I got it. Oh, it's not enough to build anything yet, though. Need more. Please, game. Please be nice to me. Just give me some compound. I need it. It was right there. Oh, there's more. Oh, did we get enough? Please tell me we got enough. Oh, no, not yet. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's right there. I see it. I can see it. Jump. Jump. I need it. I need to get a better camera angle. <laughs> it's right there. Oh, it's so close. It's taunting me. It's right there. Oh, I got some more. Huh? <gasps> is it enough yet? No, it's not enough yet. Come on, man. How is that not enough yet? Oh, I broke a big one. Okay, there we go. We got some compound. We got some freaking compound. Let's make some tethers again. Oh, jeez. That was a struggle, man. That was a freaking struggle. Thank goodness we got that, though. Now we can finally go further down. Thankfully, you get a lot of tethers whenever you just make one of, like, use one thing of compound. You get a pretty decent supply of tethers. There better be something down. You know, all right, here. I'm going to go off of my tethers for a little bit and just go off of the pack. Is there anything worth finding down here? Seriously? Is there just nothing here? I got energy. All right, I got to be careful because as soon as I hit 50%, I got to run back. All right, I should probably start running back now, actually. How is there nothing down here? This place is massive, but there's, like, nothing around. All right, you know what? I'm going to go back, reconnect some tethers, and we'll go a little bit deeper. Maybe we'll go to the left or the right side, rather. Oh, no, oxygen at 50. Get back on there. All right, we're good. All right, let's keep going. I kind of want to go this way. Like up over here. I think there might be some cool resources there, maybe. I am running a little bit low on tethers, though. Oh, I definitely, I actually just saw something. Okay. We're there. There's something here. I just got to get to it. And I think I can do that. Got to make every tether count, though, because I'm running pretty low. Yeah, I'm actually out already, so... Oh, man. Looks like we're on our own now. But there, are, there is some oxygen over here, which is nice. And there's some energy over here, which I'm going to collect real quick. So I have it. I'm going to get this oxygen. And uh, this is aluminum ore, I think? Oh, oh, I just got attacked. Oh, it just hurt me. Oh, no. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> there are things that can kill you in this game. I don't know what it was. I don't... I, I'm actually kind of worried. I have died before in this game, and dying kind of stinks, because uh, you, you lose whatever is on your pack, and you have to go back and get it. I'm going to try and collect all this from afar if I can, then. I don't know what actually hurt me, but I don't want it to hurt me again. All right, we're getting a lot of whatever this is, though, so I'm happy about that. All right, so what even is this pink stuff? Oh, there's more stuff over there. I think that might be copper ore. That's copper. We're That's copper. We're, we're saved, man. Are saved. All right. Uh, what is this? This is. Oh, it is aluminum. Okay. It's not bad. It's not the best thing ever, though. Um. Uh oh. Don't hurt me. Is this copper? Please be copper. Please be copper. Uh, I don't know what this is. I think it is copper. All right. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. I think that is copper ore, right? Uh. Yes. It is copper ore. Sweet. Okay. Our pack is full now, though. So I kind of is a problem but we got some resources which is good uh, I'm gonna just try and bring this back to the base <laughs> this is not the most efficient way to do it but we're gonna get back to the base eventually okay so we made it back to the base uh, we have a smelter so we can actually smelt our copper ore real quick but it is out of power uh, we don't have a generator yet so we have to actually use like some energy that we just like found so thankfully we can do that let me actually grab this other smaller one here, because I think it needs slightly more than one full tank. Actually, maybe not. Okay, we're good. All right, let's do that. We'll get some copper ore. And um, this will actually allow us to build a generator, I think. Right? I think it will, at least. Generator, yeah! All right, so now with this, we actually don't need to use raw energy to uh, power this anymore. We can actually use the generator, and uh, that 
requires like organic resources, which you can find by just like destroying trees and stuff like that. So pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, you know, I might as well get actual aluminum while we're here. So do I have any organic? I, I can just use regular energy for now. I have it. Why not? You know, I only take this off though. Just because I want to make sure. Oh, there's another thing of copper there too. You want to make sure this thing's empty when you uh, smelt stuff, because I think it like makes it occupy some of the same space sometimes. So if you're not careful, you can actually overwrite some of your items. So you got to be a little bit careful about that. Now, um, what do I need aluminum for? A wind vane that can be used to generate power as well. Um, is there anything else that I can make with that? I'm not too sure. Uh, I should start expanding the base, actually. So let me go and get some more resin. That way we can build another structure. And I think there's more resin over here. Because at least if we can build another structure, uh, we can see if we can use the aluminum to make anything cool. Which I think we might be able to. I'm not sure. And at least now we know that there is some stuff in that cave that we were just in. So we can go back there and uh, see if there's anything cool. Thank goodness there's a lot of resin over here, man. We got lucky in that our spawn had a lot of, like, common uh, compounds and resin nearby. Sweet. So now that we got that, um, let's go and add onto the base. See if we can sort of get, like, another structure going here. If we can get maybe, I don't know, something cool, like maybe a uh, vehicle bay or something, that'd be pretty snazzy. I don't know if we can or not yet, though. Find out. Uh, resin, place that there, and what are you going to give us? Okay, uh, compound, aluminum vehicle bay, yeah, so we can actually make the vehicle bay then. Okay, why not? That's copper, not aluminum. Uh, where'd all my aluminum go? Here it is. And boom, sweet. Let's make that vehicle bay. I don't know what this does, I've never actually made one before. Ooh, neat. Has no power. But, I can put the generator here, and uh, I think I can just destroy all this stuff and make organic material, yeah, to power it. So, bam, just like that. We got some energy. We're going green, everybody. Uh, even though it's probably the opposite of going green, considering we're destroying stuff to make power. But, yeah, whatever. At least we can charge it up this way. That's why making a generator is so important. It's kind of slow, like, as you guys can see. But, uh, it's definitely helpful. Like, it is better than going out and just farming a bunch of energy over and over again. At least with this, we have, like, a solid source of renewable energy for it. And also, I don't know what this thing is going to do once we power it up. Um, it doesn't look like it needs more resources, but I imagine it does. I don't think it can just make a vehicle out of thin air. Okay, maybe it can. Oh, it says compound needed. Yeah, okay, so it needs common compound to make a rover. Ooh, we can make a shuttle? Or a rover. Okay, so it just needs common compound, which I actually don't have any <laughs> right now. <gasps> but whatever. Uh, I'll, my, I'll drop this on here just so it has more later if it needs it. Ooh, look at that. It has power. Wait, is it charging this thing now? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh, that's pretty neat. I didn't know the generator could connect to everything that has power. So I don't actually have to move it from bay to bay. I did not know that. Dude, that is good to know. Alright, so that's compound over there. Uh, let's drop some resin in there. Drop some organic material in there, because I don't need that. I do need to find more compound, though. Um, I don't remember where I saw any. I don't remember where I saw any compound. But you know what? I think uh, we've been going for a pretty long time already, so I think I'm going to end off this video here. If you guys want to see more uh, you know, videos on this game, let me know, because I'm definitely enjoying my time playing it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this first video. It's a, it's a pretty chill game, and I'm totally down for that. But uh, I'm going to end things off here. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. But once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.